What is up, everybody? It is Alex from Heavy New York calling from the quarantine zone again. And this time we got Martin of Lycanthropy. Thank you so much for your time today, man. It's great to have you here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's nice to be with <laughs> Yeah. It's great to talk to you about uh, Tales to be Told, which came out this past November. Really, what was the thought process behind the making of this album? Like, how did Tales to be Told sort of come to be in a way? Well, um, I can't really answer to that. Uh, the difference between the three albums is uh, that uh, me and Thomas split the writing, actually, on this one. So we did uh, exactly four songs each. And um, in the difference to the other two albums, there were some songs, mostly songs written by me, also the lyrics. But um, some of the songs on the earlier records there, they were actually quite old from the 90s, mid, mid 90s that I never got finished. And, uh, well, I did it in this band. <laughs> so, well, I, I don't know. That's how it is. Man. <laughs> so, uh, being, yeah. it was a very, uh, collaborative effort. You, you would say, right? Like being that it was kind of like split in two. would a listener maybe be able to tell if you wrote this particular song or if Thomas wrote the other songs. Mm, no, I don't think so. Um, they tribute to each one and each other in a good way. I don't, I don't think you can hear actually ex exactly which song me or he wrote because um, we're all in all in the band. Every member in the band is contributing with the, their own, their own stuff to put in it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the anthropic way. Mm -hmm. um, what I really am interested in is you mentioned that also that uh, you had these songs for a while, like from the 90s. So did these songs change a lot over a span of time between when you first touched it to when you released it now? Yeah, a big difference. But it's probably because of the musicians in the band. And so um, the 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 way or the sound of, of the songs uh, i think they sound like just like they did in the 90s um but um, at the same time not with these musicians it's uh, much better with them uh, the early sound of the, it was more uh, primitive <laughs> In a way, we weren't so good at playing, actually. <laughs> it was so long time ago. So. Hmm. Yeah. Um, what, with, with, do you, like, enter the idea of an album with, like, a preconceived idea? Or is there kind of, like, a lot of improvising involved uh, in with the making of Tales to be Told? A lot of improvising. Um, but uh, both me and Thomas, we had a... Uh, bone structure of a song and we well we got from there um, we didn't know who's gonna be the lead singer in every song or we we were improvising a lot actually mm -hmm. yeah so there was a lot of happy accidents with this album absolutely the best way <laughs> yeah yeah, because I've noticed that, like, you know, starting the album off with Coming Your Way to a track like uh, Life Life on Hold or something like that, or, you know, the title track, Tales to be Told, it almost seems like uh, there was a lot of different emotions felt as well, right? Yeah, it's more emotion, exposure, exposure on this album than the other two earlier, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was that so like... It, it... In many ways, it's a different album than the other, but this is the album we like the best in the band also, and the best of making process. process. So we're going to stick to that mm -hmm. process, doing 
we did on this album. Mm -hmm. So this album opened up a lot of doors to how you guys could write in the future, right? Absolutely. Um, so you always like to experiment with your style as well, right? It's not like you try to stick with a certain sound that really defines who you are. Yeah. The experimental way is um, the best way of making songs uh, more come alive, you know, get that um, solely soulful feeling in the making process also. Mm -hmm. Heart and soul. Is there ever a time when... And I don't see... Oh, you're saying? I don't see songs as... Um, songs... Uh, in, uh, I see the songs actually more like... You can you can do a song like chapters in a book, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's more like a journey or a tale. Um, it start out starts out in a way, but it changes and transforms. Mm, mm -hmm. Like "Come uh, to Me," the seven minute long song. It's uh, more like a chap. Uh, different chapters yeah is there ever a time yeah. where a concept or lyrics could influence the music like a story could dictate the direction of the sound yeah uh, yeah absolutely from the beginning when i when i was writing um, it was mostly uh, based on uh, or improvised from horror movies um uh, or yeah the lyrics had uh, mostly some underlines in the uh, horror <laughs> uh, basically because i love all the horror movies and i have always done since i was a teen so mm -hmm. and combined with the psychedelic <laughs> 70s do you yeah. like to leave the music open to interpretation or do you try to engage the listener into the story of the album? Mm, I pass on that question. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. I don't, I don't think much of that. Actually, it's more like we're doing the music for ourselves, And, um, and of course it's, um, all good. And thumbs up if the listeners like it. So, but it, no, I I say no on that one. <laughs> is there like a lot of research that goes into the inspiration for the music, or is there like um, no, uh, it just comes to you out of nowhere? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It comes. <laughs> and yeah. uh, and uh, the final question I wanted to ask you is is oh uh, what is in store you know during these times that we're currently in right now is there anything else that you would like to promote maybe some live stream performances or something like that no we have um, no such engagement for the moment but um, we have been talking about uh, I don't, we are we are starting actually with uh, some new songs and we have plans for depending on depending on how long this pandemic is holding on and so we're gonna do a album number four that's our main plan actually but we're just in the starting of uh, making the song so we'll just have to see and uh, hopefully uh, this pandemic is over in a year probably and our plans is our plans is to get out and play have uh, shows and gigs even um, in europe for a start and uh, hopefully we we'll get to us yeah also yeah we would love to have you here yeah <laughs> okay but, uh, i would love to go there mm -hmm. i was there for two years ago in six weeks, I was in Florida on a vacation with my girlfriend and my eight-month uh, boy. Oh, really? So, yeah, yeah, lovely. 
much. Yeah. I hope uh, we could see you play here one day. We'd love to have you in New York. Yeah, good. <laughs> but thank you so well, much. Well, we want to go. <laughs> but thank you so much, Martin. Everybody, we are here with Martin of Lycanthropy. Be sure to check out Tales to be Told and new stuff coming soon. This is Alex from Heavy New York, and we will see you next time.